Hi there, welcome to the Beaten Trail, and in this episode we are going to review the Dixon Miller Recreational Area. This is a part of the Delaware State Forest uh, that is maintained by the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources, and this is uh, going to be a series. We're going to do a few episodes uh, visiting several of these trail locations. This uh, in particular uh, is only about 90 minutes from New York City, and it is uh, n not too far from the uh, Pocono Raceway in Pennsylvania. So, uh, a great place to go. We took our friends out there and we went out for a ride. There are some limitations. The limitations being that you can only be a class 1 or 2 ATV. What does that mean? You can't be any wider than 58 inches and you should be under 1200 pounds. Uh, you must be registered and insured uh, and you should display your DCNR uh, license plate on the back of your unit. And, just make sure that you do that. Uh, it's $20 for two years. It's a small price to pay to have access to some of these trails. Now, some of these trails were a bit flooded. <laughs> uh, we had a really heavy rain the night before, and so you will run into some mud and some gravel and a little bit of climbs, not too much. There's no real vistas to see. There's a couple open areas, but, you know, like I said, just a little bit of mud here and there. Uh, it was some really nice trails. We did notice that uh, there are some bulldozers that were off to the side and it looks like they're making some new trails. Some, some were fresh, dirt, freshly plowed. Uh, and that's good. I understand that there's some grants that the DCNR is going to be using to expand some of these lands. But again, these are up against uh, other properties. Please respect the property boundaries. Uh, we always recommend that you use Maprika, but in this case, we're going to say use uh, ONX. Um, we were able to have these maps accessible. Uh, they are listed on most map systems, but they are up against other shared lands, horse trails, um, and there's some signs that say, you know, no, tell you not where not to go for ATV riding. But respect that and the properties and the gates, and I think it's up against state game lands, so again, be aware of hunting season and there's going to be some restrictions where you can't go during hunting season or turkey season and they recommend that you know you wear bright colors or orange uh, you're not going to be riding during hunting season but better safe than sorry we think it's a great place in the summer it's a an awesome cool place to be under the canopy it's mostly shaded um, and it's just going to get better as the summer gets there so recommended it's free it's good uh, you just can't use dirt bikes you can't use uh, three-wheelers and again you have to you know there's no full size here uh, but please tell us if you like uh, these locations have you been here before and uh, we'd like to hear from you so please uh, leave some comments and tell us uh, how you like it subscribe and like and be uh, sure to share this with your friends if you happen to do any Amazon shopping start it out with a click on one of our links even if you don't buy anything that we are linked to, we still get some credit for affiliate marketing. So we thank you again. We hope to see you uh, on the channel more, and we look forward to seeing you out there on the trail. Thanks.